I'd like to introduce the son and present to others. Oh, she's the mother of three, and she's married to Charles Nicholson um, as well. I can leave that out. And I think they've been married for about 30, 31 years, so we know what longevity and commitment says about her life, right? Okay, so I'd like to introduce the son and present to others, Sister Mildred Nicholson. Uh, the support that, that we have here this morning. Um, we're going to go ahead and just get started. I've got a few notes here and I, I may speak to them and I may not. But um, anyway, um, the theme for the lectureship is um, the richness of our faith. And I kind of tossed that around and so I thought, why don't we just bring off of that? And so this morning I'm just going to talk just a little bit about how rich is your faith. Okay, how rich is your faith? Um, a very good topic um, uh, to, to, uh, and, and a broad discussion, but we're just going to hit on a few points this morning. I, I looked up the definition of rich, and it's having a lot, containing much, abundant, valuable, wealth, deep, and pleasing. Therefore, we can say rich faith would be an abundant faith, valuable, wealthy, deep and pleasing. And that sounds like something that we fit our character as Christian women. Um, I personally believe, and I'm not a women's lib or anything, and I believe in a woman staying in a place and all that, but I personally believe that God enriched us with a few little extra things, because I think he knew we had to kind of be everything to everybody. And so he kind of equipped women when he made Adam to help me. He kind of equipped her with a few extra things. And faith is one of those things that I think he gave us that, that the uh, power to develop it a little more. Uh, you know, women um, uh, seem to have a, a more tenacity and more patience and all of this stuff that we can we can stretch it. Our faith can just we can we can make it reach way out there and cover. And um, so so we're going to talk a little bit about this now. Um, and, and, and there are, there are several examples when I was uh, start, uh, getting my lesson together that the Bible refers to. Uh, about women that, that really stepped out of faith. And we're just going to talk about a couple of those women this morning. Then we're going to talk about ourselves and what we're doing, what we should be doing. Um, the first one I want to start with is that a virtuous woman. Now, when we look at Proverbs 31 and all that she was doing on, that's just had it going on. She had it going on. She was busy doing things. And when I looked at, um, her, it said she she uh, con she uh, considereth a field, you know, and, and I'm thinking now this got to be on faith that she can go out there and invest in something and nothing at all to come between her faith and her God or what, uh, what she was looking for. She, you know, and I, I often think about, um, and, I, and if you don't mind, I may walk a little bit. I have to move up sometimes when I'm talking. But I often think about how uh, we, can, we can say, oh, I believe, you know, I believe this, and I have faith in that, and I know God, and da, da, da. But how we will allow little things to, to come in between that, how we will say, I believe God can do this, and I believe God can do that, and, um, you know, we can do this together, and we allow little things to hinder us from, from letting our faith work. Now, she let nothing. She didn't, she knew where, what she needed to do. First of all, she knew her, her situation. She knew her problem. She had issue blood. She hadn't been healed. She had spent all of her money. All of her resources were gone. But she had something within her that made her go that extra mile, that really, really, really step out. And that was her faith. And she pushed, she shoved, and, and I'm sure that she got nasty comments, she got talked about, she she didn't let nothing, not even, I call them uh, Jesus' security guards, disciples, she didn't even let them stop her from making her way. That's just how rich and how deep her faith was in what she could get. And that's the way we have to let our faith reach just that far. When, when it looks like you know, uh, there is no hope, but it looks like uh, uh, we're, we're, you know, this is probably not possible. This is probably not possible. 
we got we got to make it stretch even further. And that's what she did. She pressed away. She pushed away. She didn't let nothing. She didn't let that. What the comments that was made, the people that was pulling her back. And I'm sure there was some pulling her back. Because if you can imagine pushing your way through a crowd and people already in front, they're looking at you like, what are you going to do? What are you trying to do? But she pressed away. She pushed away. She made her way because of something that was in her. And that's just how rich her faith was in what he can do for her. If I can just get there, if I can just touch the hem of his garment, if I can just, if I, if, if I, I know, I know without a shadow of a doubt, if I make my way there and touch, then I'm gonna get the results that I'm looking for. 